Okay, small continuation from the force thing that I meant to do in one video, but the last video was way too freaking long. Is our deer with the need system. And if you remember our rabbit, our rabbit works pretty good. So all I'm really going to do for the most part is I'm going to actually copy a lot of this right over to the deer. Right? Reuse as much code as you can. Do, 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 do. Just copy and paste it all. And then we'll modify from there and add in our need system. Oh yeah, for the hit for the hit point <coughs> hit boxes. Which a, which a deer we'll we'll put those on, kinda like the zombie had. The rabbit really didn't have it, but the deer we can put that on. The deer is big enough, we can do headshots. So let's go over to and grab that. And let's put one on there, we'll give it a multiplier of like five. And maybe we'll put one on the neck, give it a three maybe. Uh, put one on there, give it a two. Sure, let's put one there, give that one a two. Sure, everyone gets it. Why not? Give that one a one though. And the calf. Oh. No colliders on that. Which is fine. We really don't need them there anyways. Where are but we do have them on the upper arm. So let's put one there. I want to make sure that I'm going to put those down to a one. And that's probably about all we really need. The other thing is we need our site. Uh, one of the things that we, we should have done with the, the rabbit and the zombie is we have our site. Is it right there right so really what we really should do is make a variable of that it makes it so much easier right because then you can just turn around and you don't have to worry about it when you copy and paste AIs all right so we want to make sure we get all that from our brain and then you know what even on the start uh, one thing we could do is get child put that above the game object null or it's going to have trouble finding it and the child name will be site store result is site then I, then I don't even have to worry about it. It's done. All right. Uh, let's see if we use it in here. I forget if we do or not. We'll just do a quick scan. I don't think we do. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of him now. Well, let's check layer. So character layer, and these things are on the AI and the limb. So the easiest way I find to do that, go limb, or 
Or that was limb, right? Not O oh, A I. Tag limb. All right, so A I. Say yes to children, but then I'm going to take take and go character, and no, no, just this object, because now everything is A I, which is fine. I'm just going to go down. I'm going to hold down Alt, click, which opens up everything. Go down, just tag everything limb. Which it won't matter because it's uh, for the how we're using it. It'll, it'll work just fine. If the, you know this is tagged limb, who cares? It's got no collider. It's not gonna hurt us. Save that real quick. Okay. So now our deer technically will work just as is just like the rabbit other than the animator we haven't done the animator yet so let's put a deer and a rabbit holy crap let's only put one two bees move him into there go into here and create an animator controller Which, <clears throat> if you also want a fast way to do that, like we have a rabbit, right? Now, unless we are planning on doing a pile of different things to it, uh, which in, the, in our case, we will, we always could create an override controller, right? And call this one deer override and say, you know, you're going to look like a rabbit. And then we have more or less of those same names and you just drag in whatever animation you want stick this on the deer and life is good it will function the way it's supposed to function right like if I stick that on like it's set up just the way the deer or the rabbit is so there is an option for you right um, but in, in our specific case I'm not going to do that um, but I think what I will do, so I can just copy these, is I'm going to actually just copy those, go into here, and then paste. And then that way I don't have to worry about, I mean, I've got to change the animations, obviously. I'll change the names, but, you know, it, oh, it didn't bring in our parameters. That's kind of what I was hoping to do. Actually, you know what then? Screw it, let's do this. This will be even easier. Let's just duplicate this one. Move that one over to our deer. All right, now we do have the parameters. Uh -huh. Screw you, Unity. We outsmarted you. Right, now obviously we don't want to use these ones. Like, we'll just call this damage. And, you know, if I could spell right, that would be cool. And death. Uh, the locomotion will have to change. Of course, we'll change all those. So let's go into the deer. And there's a few things we want to do. So let's go find where the hell is the deer. And there's the deer. We have death. I'm just going to grab one of those and take a damage as well. And what else? Here are here are three different idols. I can probably rename those. Idol one. Idol two. Idle three. That'll keep us so that it's. Then you, you don't even have to do the idols. I'm just doing it because it looks nice. All right, so we have those. Now we also have actions though, and that's what we're gonna want. We have drink and eat. All right, so we see him doing this little eating thing. 
And then, of course, we have drinking. So we're going to bring those in. And I think I will put those into bools and we'll go eat. And bool drink. Right? And then we'll just make little transitions off. Bloop. Nice and simple. Right? Of course, turn this off so it happens right away. And that's the drink is true. And over here is drink is false. I'm going to take that off, but I'm going to blend it over just a bit more. Right, and of course we've got to change the locomotion. Or else that's going to mess us up. So eat is true and eat is false. Yeah, it's false. End of the locomotion. All we're looking for is an idle walk and run. So idle. There's the run. And there's the walk. Alright, so now now the blends will look a little better, right? We're bl if we blend out and it's super quick, it'll just be... See, that's pretty fast. I'll just extend that out a little more. Same with this one. Just a, just a bit. It doesn't need to be crazy. So we have these two actions. <coughs> So we want the deer to be able to go and eat and drink. Well, the first thing we're going to need to do is what the hell is the deer going to eat in the, in the first place? So we need to make something. And I'm going to create an empty. We're going to call it uh, Tasty Flower. Our deer is going to eat a flower. Why? Because I said so. Plants. What do we have for plants? Make me fruit. Let's just choose. A, oh, you know what? Let's totally go with. Let's go with the hemp. I think our deer should eat hemp. There we go. He is a hemp eating deer. Now the other thing this will need is we can put a collider to it, which we actually don't even have to put a collider to it. Um, it depends on the detection and how we want to detect it. So I'm going to put a capsule collider um, just in case we do happen to need it. I don't think we will. And I'm going to move this up. Put it like that. I'm going to make it as a trigger. Now, more importantly, I'm going to put this. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I don't, even, I don't even care about the tag. Actually, well, no, I do. I do care about the tag. Add tag. Uh, flower. And I don't think the deer is going to use the tag, but we might use it on the player down the road. So that's why I'm putting it in. You don't actually need it. And you're probably wondering, okay, well, if I, if I don't care about the tag and I technically don't need a collider, how the hell is a deer ever going to see this bloody thing? And the simple answer is my drink of coffee is I like to control all the data in the game. And if you ever want to build a save system, you need references to everything. Um, and the easiest way to do that is just to have the references right from the start. So we have a spawn manager who also does a cycle manager, right? We have a decal manager. 
Um, in fact, I can make another object just to keep these clean. We'll call it managers. And let's just take all those and stuff them in there. Um, there we go. So we could have another manager. And let's create our, you know, um, we'll call them a prop manager. Why not? We'll give them an FSM, and in this FSM, we will get owner, and we will store as a global variable, uh, prop manager. Nice and simple. That's literally all he needs. And we're gonna give him a proxy. And it's gonna be called uh, we'll call it food. Okay. Now this guy. So we have more or less something like that. And what we need to do is get owner actually going to take it out of the start though I don't want it in the start I, I, I've, I've had issues in the start for doing this type of thing so I'm just going to throw a next frame in right there and I'm going to get owner stored as self can my go-to key wording for this and we want to array list add and we're going to add to the prop manager food type game object the thing we're adding is self there we go we've added ourself now we're going to need a way to destroy this or at least hide it right so if say the deer eats it is it gone permanently out of the world or do we hide it and make it respawn after x amount of time you know um so let's say if a deer eats this we now want to array list remove that same manager prop manager food and self and the other thing we want to do is I'm going to deactivate this thing And then we can wait. I'm only going to put 30 seconds in. Um, but, you know, uh, you'd probably want to put in a lot longer. But who knows? Whatever. And then from here, um, actually, I'm just going to come over here and re go to this guy. And at the same time, activate that now the other thing I want in here just in case we happen to get to AI to come along and try to eat this thing at the same time we, we can't remove it from the the list twice so what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna say uh, walk out until the event recreate how about that that'll work until we get recreate and then let's use recreate right there get rid of that one there we go all 
right? So now, for example, for testing, let's just send an event off to this guy that we ate it. Deactivate that, hit play. And so we ate it, it's gone. I mean, technically it's still there. And if I try to resend that, see how I can't? It won't take it. It says no, not happening. Because we're blocking that event. So we wait our amazing 30 seconds. I should have put that a lot lower. Hindsight's 2020. And it goes over and it recreates. And it re-adds itself to the list. So it's working pretty good. So let's prefab that. Um, create a new folder. Create folder prefabs. And in our prefabs, let's add our tasty flower. And delete it. Right now I can stick it one over here, one over there. Start sticking around places. Not a big deal. Maybe there's a couple over here by the road. There we go. We have tasty flowers all over the place. Right? Pretty good. And I'm just gonna bloop. Whoops, totally missed that. Get rid of that. We don't need him now. So in the word of in the in the, in the mind of the deer. First let's fix this little tiny thing happening there. Speed, I'm going to go up to 1, take him down, move this up, bring that out, and go 1.6, there we go, and that should actually be just fine. So the deer, we have a brain here, right, so we have, oh, no, sorry, not that. Uh, the actions right we have we have this this starting thing and we do this this big wander this guy's our big wander this guy is our flea right so I'm gonna add a state and I'm gonna say wander it's our wander section this is our flea section. All right. Well, what else do we want? We want. We need. We need to eat. We need to drink. So, what is to go eat? Well, we need to array list get next on the props manager the food we're gonna loop and we're gonna done and type is gonna be a game object and we have a current we can call it current food So let's go loop and done. Put in our events. So what are we going to do? We All we want to do, and there might even be an action for this to make life really easy. Ecosystems are running super slow, so bear with me. I don't know what, like, like the ecosystem was down for like three or four days. It was kind of weird. And then now it, it's running, but it's like, 
takes forever to load or something. Something weird's happening with it. So, there we go. So, right, of course, it's, I haven't seen anything there. Whatever. Let's check in here in just case I already have it. Array list, clear proxies, curve weighted. Closest game object. That will work just fine. Right? Look at that. That'll work better than this. Instead of looping doing it ourselves. So let's do from the prop manager food distance from self all right get owner get owner and go self so distance from self don't need that we don't need every frame closest game object will be the current food once we have that let's set agent destination move to the bottom to current food and get position actually no let's, let's get distance I'll make it easier I use get distance two. It's almost the same as get distance one. So from ourselves to current food. Put those in zero. We can reuse our distance variable and float compare. Move to the bottom. And if distance is, say, less than 2.25, we can eat. And if we eat, we want to set agent is... I just want to stop that agent right away. And stopped is true. Actually, no. Let's not do that. Um, no. Yeah, maybe we should. Uh, set animator bool. Eat to true. And let's... So we, we're, we're going to need uh, hunger and stuff that we have to deal with. Um, and we'll deal with that in a second. So the other thing is we, we also need to be able to flee when we're doing this, right? Copy. So if we are moving towards and here if we are eating right so we have flee and we're just going to go up we're just, we're just going to go up there and here we, we have to do one extra step because we have this so let's reverse this stuff And then I'm just going to put a tiny weight in, so give them time to, you know, play the different animation and then kind of move. Right. <clears throat> so we're going to need a brain, a little brain here to say which which one do we want to go to. So we have that. And that's eating. And, and the drinking is going to be nearly the same thing. So. Now. In here. We're 
we have get max value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a proxy to the deer itself. And we're going to call this proxy uh, needs. And it is going to be type float. All right, and it can have a prefill count of um, three. So the first one, we're, too bad I can't rename this, but the first one's going to be wander. It'll be point three. Then we'll do hunger and thirst. All right, so what we want to do is we want to take the needs. And we don't need every frame, but it's going to be type float. And the maximum value is high. Actually, we don't even need the maximum value. We need the index. Index of highest. And then we can switch. Int switch. Right. Index of highest. We have three. So we know this one is wander. This one is eat. And this one is drink. All right, so that's one and two. All right, so doop. And now we have wander. Is here. And we have eat, which is here. And we have to still make the drink. Right, so you're probably wondering, well, how the hell do you put those in? Right, so FSM. Let's just separate them. So hunger, we're going to have a value. And it's going to be, uh, well, it don't matter, 100. Oh, I guess we can give it a name. Hunger. Give it a value of, say, 100. Or, you know, let's make it a float. We'll make it easier. Float one. So, we don't want to put this value in. Because now you're just comparing values. And that's stupid. So, what we want is, we want a sample curve. Right? And we're going to sample at hunger. Hunger value. And you can do this every frame, but that might be a little excessive. So the curve. So think of this as... Um, no, let's put it for here right now. So if your hunger is at zero, you're also at zero for a value. If your hunger is at one... You're at one for a value. Well, I can take this, hit enter on it, value of one, and time of zero. All right, and take this one and flip it around. So if we are full, if if our value is at, oh wait, did I just do this backwards? Yeah, because we're sampling this way. Okay, yeah, I did do that backwards. Sorry about that. Um, but you also don't want some linear stupid line either, right? So I'm just going to add keys. You know, and you kind of make this curve, and how you make it is entirely up to you. So we we have a curve. So we're going to sample it at our value, or we're going to get a return value based on this curve. Um, I'll, I'll put it to every frame, and then I want to set array list, array list set. 
and we already said hunger is number one right so um, needs yes needs at index one um, every frame it's a float and we'll give it the hunger value right so now I have uh, this is at a one and if I start taking my hunger down like say it's at 0.5 I'm at 0.67 so he's starting to be like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, I'm going to try to, and if I take my hunger to, to 1, or 0.1, it's quite low. All right, but we want the highest value. So I did have it right the first time. So I'm going to flop that back around. Just add a couple keys. know something like that all right so there's our hunger uh, in fact you could also do the same thing copy and paste um, but now we sample at thirst and we have thirst value. And then at index two, we give thirst value. Now, maybe we want to make this curve a little different to give our character a little more, you know, uh, maybe he can go a little longer without water. It's less important to him, maybe. We'll just say. And now we have that. Pretty, pretty simple. And if we look at um, thirst value, if we go 0.5, oh, sorry, go 0.5. We see that at their hunger, we go hunger 0.5, and it's it's a much higher value. He, he'd rather go eat than drink by far. But if we start keep going down on this, it starts climbing also very rapidly. And then he's like, you know what? We need to drink. That's 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 the intention. So this is how that's it. Now normally I don't think I would do this every frame you know I might wait uh, even just one second will save you a pile of performance so now in the actions right oh he wants the maximum value that doesn't matter but we'll give it so it makes it happy and we need to drink and drink needs to go somewhere so I'm gonna literally just copy this and paste it and he can go there so we're gonna have another one called drink, or you know, we'll call it water. And set it there. And if we flee, we need to go up here. And oh drink the true. Drink to false. So we need we need water. So there, there's 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 numerous ways you can do this as well. 
right? Um, you always could just use one big collider here. But, uh, you know, and, and that works. Um, I, I think I will literally just make a, I don't know, water. Yeah, water, water spot. And uh, you can give it particles, do whatever. Don't really matter. Uh, but we are going to copy this FSM and paste it. Only obviously we don't want to go to that. We want to go to water, which doesn't exist yet. Let's hold on to that for a second. Let's change this to drink. thinking we should put a particle with this just so we can at least see it Let's see if I have anything for water even a steam would work well not like that not swirls uh, even something like that just so, just so we can see it right And then in here, let's deactivate our swirl and reactivate our swirl. That'll make more sense. Oh. There we go. Now we go to our prefabs. Drag that in, delete that. And I don't know, put some of those around here. I said you don't have to use it this way. You can um, you can also use one big collider and just go to the edge of it. But whatever, this this will work. All right, so I'm gonna take all those, stick those under props, keep them clean. Managers, prop manager. We want to add another proxy called water, and that's it. All right now, if I hit play, so all the proxies have filled, so that's good. All right, health. Let's kick him up to sixty. Or maybe even 50. So action. All right. So here we have that. And he can flee. You could also, if you really wanted, you could also grab the array index of your needs. So you can go from drink to eat and eat to drink if need be. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So let's go. What do we need? So if we go here, we need a way to actually uh, alter things, right? So here we have, we're going to say drink and eat. Drink, eat, drink, eat. Actually, no, we don't want to do those. Let's not do those. Let's just wait. Uh, well, I don't know, five seconds maybe. I mean, for testing, I'll, I'll bring it down, uh, but we'll we'll move it up after. And 
FSM float. Okay, well, we don't have an FSM get, so let's get FSM float. So we need to get from the needs, the hunger, just gonna call it value, float, subtract. I got two of them, so I apparently double clicked enter. Value and subtract, I don't know, 0 0.05. And then set float FSM float needs hunger value. Thirst, thirst, maybe thirst decays slower. Like that. All right now, up here in the actions, let's. Let's, while we're here, let's go, um, oh, we do have an FSM float add, good, 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 good. So let's add from the needs, thirst, and let's add like 0.1 every frame per second, right? So every per second, it'll go up kind of slow, but whatever. And over here, do the same thing. Obviously not thirst, let's do hunger, but maybe he eats a lot quicker. And what else we want to do? So while we're here, we need to be able to... Um, We don't want to stay in this forever, right? We're eating if it gets good, I guess you could say, right? Um, get array list get. All right, so in the water, we know it is needs. And we know water's index two. It's a float uh, current value. And if, oh, I don't know if that's every frame. Hmm. You know what? We don't need that. Let's. FSM float so thirst. Let's 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 just base it off of that. FSM float. Oh, you know what? There is an FSM float compare. I know there is. FSM float compare. And I didn't type it in. done my coffee it must be in the video it must be close to being done soon come on come on little ecosystem you can do it anytime now no results come on I know you got it in you all right, um, while I'm waiting for that, just in case it doesn't come up. Oh, maybe it didn't come up. Oh, that came up right away. 
So FSM float chained. Well, I guess that's supposed to be change. Get floats max. Float flip. FSM float switch. We could almost use that. Yeah, well, we'll use that. That will make that'll that'll work. Or it should work. If not, well, we'll do something else. So more or less, if that value FSM float switch, let's see what it let's see what it does. So in the needs thirst, we have one switch. Oh, and it goes with less than. Of course it does. Of course it does. All right, fine. Get FSM float. Move that to the bottom, and let's do from the needs, thirst, and <coughs> check value, flow compare, and more or less all we want to do is say, hey, you know what? If your if your check value is I don't know above 0.95 then you're good you, you have you have had your fill and you can go back up here all right so let's grab those two copy and paste them up here only obviously this one wants hunger and beyond that He is okay. All right, so if I save <coughs> now with this deer, so let's speed this up even higher. Let's go point two, and then let's go to our needs so we can see this live action. Let's stick all these down here and hit play. So we can see these values are all trucking away and oh we, ha oh we have to put clamps on those we need to put clamps on those forget the clamps all right so value clamp at zero max is one copy and paste the four and where's this guy point three so point three is our wander rate So now we have that slowly dropping. Oh no, we want the min value. You know what? That's what I screwed up on. And this guy right here, we're getting the max value. We want the min value. We want the lowest possible value. Copy. Not every frame type float. I mean, beyond that, everything's exactly the same. You can even call it, like, we're not even using the max value. That's all right. There we go. So now, now we should have. They should drop. Why aren't those dropping? Let's take a look. So this guy is setting those by 
of those values. This guy Those are already zeros. So I'm pretty sure I just didn't default those up. That would probably help the situation. There we go. Thirst and hunger and they're dropping. Alright, so that's now obviously that's way, way, way too quick, but it's working. Alright. And actually, you know what? That's, I mean, even the value is pretty freaking quick. So, now we do have a null exception. I think I know where that's coming from. If that's water, our deer, AI brain. Action. Needs. Let's see what's happening in here. So he said eat right off the bat. And he shouldn't. Get the min value type is zero. Index of one. Well, he might be now by the time I hit paused. All right, so why? Why, oh why? Okay, so my hunger and thirst. Spell it right. Alright, we'll have to double check that, see what's going on there. But first, let's figure this out. Alright, what do we have? Our hunger is 0.92. The hunger value is super low. Thirst is that, so that's super low. So we are supposed to be getting max. Alright, aren't we? Needs to be. So that goes down. Right. Those are dropping. So that. So that's happening, but the hunger value, these things are. Maybe they are backwards. Too. They are they are totally backwards. Lord hundred. All right, let's just use that one, and I'm going to modify this one so that they are at least different. All right, those are now functioning. All right, so now the needs. Need decay. Let's drop him down, back down, so we can test this. So 
in our dear brain, or in the actions, I should say. Now, from here, I don't think he actually has a way out other than the flea. Right, so that's one thing we need to fix. Because ultimately, when he is done his idle, right, we have flea, and then we have the get the water position. We, we want to actually come up here to check. Right, now you could have it so while he's doing the wander, we're like, oh, we're hungry, let's go. But really, I mean, how long is he going to be doing that wander path at one little spot? Like five seconds? They go up. Well, I mean, depending on your game, I guess. I mean, you might want to do that, but I'm not worried about it right now. And so he's wandering. He's trucking along up there just fine. Doing a little bit of a wait, and yet he's hungry. So this is what now we have a little issue here, right? So we're getting ourselves closest to the deer. Tasty flower eight. Oh, he actually found a flower this time. Tasty flower. And yet he's not going anywhere. You know what, I think we should split that thing up. So Tasty Flower 8, let's find that thing. Let's see where he's looking at. That one, that's what he wants to get. All right, but I think, I think, I could be wrong about this. This part right here as we come down oh actually no i guess we i guess we should put it put it above cuz it has the flea and everything to it right we don't want to mess that up Now let's try that. I'm going to speed the deer up though. That's what he was doing before. That's why he wasn't chasing it. Ew. Well, now I feel silly. No, no, no. I'll show you what I'm, I mean. I'm going to move this anyways as a precaution. But anywho, when he went in here, he set to maximum speed. Right, and came here, it goes over here, and he wants to come down here. So he just flat out had no speed. So let's make sure to give him some speed. Or else he can't really do much of anything. He's just doing this little idle thing. Let's move our player. We don't want him to chase. We have a little issue there. Oh, we have a definitely have a weird issue there.
Now I lost them. All right, let's try that one more time. some reason getting stuck in here so we should make sure that this has a way out right because the speed I think that might have been one of the things I messed up on right here is we also set the float and I didn't do that. All right, so the other thing we need now, is so while he's doing this, we do that. And we want to send event to, I'm just going to select one of these for now, to eight. And that's going to be our current food. And I'm going to give it a delay of a second. Copy that and bring that over here. Paste before. Only now we don't want. I'm pretty sure we're using that same variable. Yeah, current food. Do, do, do. There we go. But damn it, I said close. I said close. See, I think we gotta check, we gotta make sure that site's working. Right, so he's cruising there, he does his weight. Apparently scratches himself a few times and he's like, oh no, we're hungry, let's go eat. we look at our deer down here when he goes to eat we should see his hunger fill and here we go into this one it's the closest plant and when he's done that he should technically go for water Yeah, see his hunger filled, the plant disappeared. Mind you, it's probably almost dropping as fast as it's going up. But now he wants to go for water. All right, so he's gone here. He has water spot one. he doing? 
he is. It's got speed. I'm almost guessing it's this stopped. those away for a minute. Cause I, oh, just l looking at that, I'm pretty sure that was the issue. Because it turns on when it goes out the one way, but I don't think it goes out the other way. Or re reverts itself. So let's check. Unless you didn't wander to some stupid place up the mountain. Should make this delay a little longer too on the plant disappearing. Can almost go like three seconds. Right, but now he filled, now he's thirsty. The animator, he's stuck in the eat. Eat has to go false, and it didn't go false, so let's make it false. Need to fix that. And of course, he'll do the same thing and go to the water. Okay, so we know the deer is working, mostly. Except for... We need... if we go to you're good we never do set it back to normal here right no that's what we got to do so I think if I stick that here things should be okay then and let's send this event after I don't know three even four seconds There we go. And let's let's also test. Well, let's first take a look, make sure it's we can see it's working. We get the site. Okay, good. Stupid little deer go. Here, little deer. It's almost comical, I can't find the deer. Oh, he's right down there. I think he's eating. Oh, you know what? speed up his run. He should be moving a lot quicker than that rabbit was. Back here you little bastard.
Okay, so we had one little issue there where you're standing there, and another one where oh yeah, his first of all, let's move that now before we forget. That was just weird. Bring that down. Bring this up. He came to a seven. And I want to make sure he can see me. Right, because to me, it doesn't look, doesn't look like he can see me. So there's probably just something we missed over from the copy. Right, so we get the player. The distance. That's it. We put, or by we I mean me, I suppose. Put the site way down there. We need to move it up. There he goes. He seen me and he ran. Damn deer. I have no idea where he went to. Everything's running. Alright. His antlers though. Apparently these are all on some layer I can't see. I think all of this stuff was just put to default. Alright. Take said deer. Move them over. Get one final test on them. I'll come out of maximize. Whoops. Make sure he does everything he's supposed to do before we call him good. Oh, he's got food right there. He's going to go eat. He's a happy little deer, huh? All right, so right there, what is he doing? It's like he's frozen. Oh, no, he's, I mean, in by the animator. He's, oh, yeah, we didn't change that. Okay, so they eat. Da, 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 da. They eat. These aren't looping. And the way I'm running them, they need to loop. So that's one issue that needs to be resolved. Action and Obviously, if we're good, we're coming out of here. We need to set this stuff to false. There we go. Let's change our need decay to even three seconds and even that might be a little much I will try to and call him good 
and let's put them over prefab them delete them from scene spawn manager So day, let's put two deer. Maybe he also hangs out in the rocks. There we go. Those deer will now starve and thirst. I mean, they don't actually die. I mean, you put that in, it's pretty easy. But they will go and get water and get food and just wander around and flee. You could almost give them a, an attack thing, if maybe if they're too close or something. No random damage animations and random death animations, running death animation. There's a lot of things you can do to them, but overall, pretty good. Pretty good, can't complain. I think they're pretty nice. So I think I will save that and call that good. A little bit of a need system for the deer. And, well, you can use it on anything. And it doesn't have to be, you know, hunger and health. I mean, you, you, can, be, you can make that list a mile long. Bring in ammo and stuff, whatever. It's all good. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys later.